not a politician. I'm Mark Stewart Greenstein. This is the Daily Fire for August 10th. So I've been complimented frequently after two minutes of conversing with people, strangers, and they say, we need politicians like you. Well, good. I take the compliment. I'd just like to tweak it in this way. Politician is not me, and I'm not changing, okay? Don't let me, okay? I tell people, if you see me making promises and then later acting squirrely, you call me on it, okay? I've got a lot of people resting on the integrity of this is what you've been promised in late 2018, and for the next three to four years, I'm here to deliver. So instead of politician, I like to call myself public servant and maybe maker of alliances. Win-win is my mantra. Politicians say one thing and do something else. That is not me. Politicians have certain credential criteria that have to be checked off. That's not me either. When I hire now and I expect in the future, I hire people who are good and who are nice. Those are the main criteria. Whether you have a PhD attached, I don't care. Basic competence and talent to do the next level of task and good and nice are what I do care about. Now, I hope you will never see me at a fundraiser because I won't be there, okay? If somebody calls an event where I'm at in a fundraiser, I can't help that. But I don't go to raise money for it future campaigns. I'm not going to have one in Connecticut. Nobody is going to see me at a fundraiser for other people. Okay. If you see me at some event, it's because I like the group holding it, or maybe I'm curious. It's not a political appearance. You're not going to see me change in this way either. I don't do funerals. I don't do weddings. Okay. I have for the last dozen years or so routinely done, attended, uh, Brisses, baby namings, that's after a Jewish baby is born, and shivas, after somebody in the community has died, and for the next seven days, um, the visitation, not the funeral, but the visitation afterwards. I believe in both. I don't see myself changing, even as governor of Connecticut. If you see me at a large private event, it's because I am curious, I like the people, it's not for political purposes. If you see me in a factory, wearing a hard hat. It's because I really want to learn about what they do, and I don't want a camera nearby, okay? There won't be any from my staff, and if someone else is there, I'm going to try to stay away from it. In a restaurant, I'd like to be private. I don't go to restaurants for political purposes like other candidates do. No cameras. My job for three to four years is to be your heat-seeking missile, your servant for doing the betterment of Connecticut government. Now, a lot of people say this before election, and then we know they get co-opted. They get sucked into the vortex of something that right now I don't understand. But I know that our government is full of very good people in a bad system. And I'm a fervent person to say, we got to change the system. That means not changing the people, but changing the system around. Right now, good people, when they get into government, are tempted strongly by money and power. I'm not tempted by money. And, and look, as a private businessman, there's lots of opportunities to cut corners, to shave things that nobody would notice to profit yourself. I have not been in that category. I don't see that happening. Power, I don't know, because I haven't had the opportunity to have power. But again, you keep me straight. And I will say that I know that my power would only come from the populace. I don't have anything else going for me. So if I can't stay a straight shooter with you, the voters of Connecticut, that loses any power that I might want to have anyway. The only power I have comes from you, and it's for the purpose of changing Connecticut, not enriching me, not empowering me, but making Connecticut better. I do like money, but I like it, the making of it. I don't need much. Okay, I'm single. I don't have dependents. It's, yeah, I live fine. 
and if you see me with a zeal for making money, it's for the state. You've already seen that, like to make money using the executive mansion that the governor resides in, rent out a bunch of rooms on Airbnb. And, and it would make money for the state. That would be fun. I'd like to save money for the state. There are many expenses that I know I will be able to cut. One is that political cost of humans called spokespeople. What good are they? Okay, nobody in Connecticut is going to have to trust somebody else's words talking about me. I can speak for myself. So I'm sorry, he's a nice guy. Lee Appleby is Governor Malloy's spokesman. Governor Malloy might have more than one for all I know. But Lee, I've met you, do something else, okay? Maybe in our administration, maybe not. But there's not going to be a government spokesperson job. Now, communication, via email will continue, but it's going to be funded by me or perhaps a good, well-willing pack that believes in good communication. If the number of emails get enormous and we want to stay in touch, I do see a proliferation there, but it's not going to be funded on state money. That is a governor re-election scheme in a way, and I'm not running for re-election. So you can trust that, or I hope you'll trust, that this would-be politician doesn't want to be a politician, that this would-be public servant wants to go in with and continue in the same way that he's acted since returning to the state of Connecticut. That was 18 years ago. I welcome your comments by email. I welcome conversing with you. I still do conferences two days a week. That's the Tuesday, 11 o'clock. That's the Friday, 5 p.m. I look forward to conversing with every one of you who want to attend. These conference lines are unlimited space. So please, give me a call, whether I'm governor or a civilian. I'm Mark Stewart Greenstein. Thank you.